Today I have a Razer E200 electric scooter. This scooter has two lead acid batteries inside and the batteries are dead. So my plan is to replace the lead acid batteries with one cobalt power tool battery. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is to remove the top cover which has six screws and then underneath you got two 12 volt lead acid battery seven amp hour each here they are two lead acid batteries they are so heavy what a dinosaur they are connected together in series so this one and this one are connected together by a fuse right here so you can uh, reset it and then the total output is 24 volts through this main wire here goes to the controller and then the controller output to 24 volts out to the motor so this wire goes to the motor on the back here what I'm going to do is to cut this wire that goes from the battery to the controller and this is the 24 volt input from the battery and now we can get rid of the two batteries all right so the two lead acid batteries are gone let's put it to the test here Got my cobalt battery connected to my uh, connector here and it goes to the two wires that I just cut. Let's see what we'll turn on. There you go. And in case you're wondering what this is, this is the connector that allows you to connect from the cobalt battery output to the controller. I have made quite a few versions of this and this is the latest model and if you follow my channel you're probably familiar with this but I'm gonna put the link in the description if you want to see how I make this the battery is a little bit taller than the base so when I close this down it does stick out a little bit maybe about one centimeter so I cut a piece of plywood and uh, put it on the bottom and then I put this cover on the top to make it a little bit thicker so that it doesn't touch the battery underneath I got my piece of plywood secure onto the plastic base by these four screws the two screws on the back are secure onto the scooter so now it will keep the uh, base in place and that way I can lift the base up and down to get access to the battery if I need to charge the battery and now I can close this base down and it stays flat and is tall enough to clear the battery inside and to make it easy and convenient to lift this up to get to the battery I made two thumb screws and that way I can just screw it down quickly or unscrew it and then I can lift this up very easily so to tighten this so I just have to screw it down and now the whole base is tight and it's very stable and then when I need to open this up to charge the battery so I just unscrew this very quickly and now I can just lift this up and get to the battery inside so here's how I made the thumb screws very easy piece of round plastic sandwich between the two washers and then a lock nut to secure everything together so let's give it a try let's turn it on there we go it's on and it works great now let's go for a test drive all right go So there you have it, it is a fairly simple project. The only thing we have to replace is the battery. Everything else is the same. The hardest part of this project is how to make an adapter for the Cobalt 24 volt battery. Everything else is easy and straightforward. Of course you cannot use the original Razer charger to charge this Cobalt battery because it's designed to charge a lead acid battery, not a lithium ion battery. You will need to use the Cobalt charger to charge this battery. 
This 4 amp hour cobalt battery has a lower capacity than the original Razer lead acid battery, but it's a lot lighter and therefore it sets quite a lot of weight off of this scooter. The battery is easily replaceable, so I can just replace with a fresh cobalt battery and keep on going. No more range anxiety. With this new 4 amp hour, we were able to play for about an hour before it ran out. It was not a continuous play but rather on and off. But that's enough fun time for the kids before they get bored. But I always bring a spare to replace when it runs out. The biggest advantage is there's no more walking the scooter home just because we run out of battery power. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.